What's up everyone, Lucas here, and in this video, I'm gonna explain one major side effect of exposure to a plastic called BPA. So I'm sure many of you have heard of BPA. Um, you've seen it listed on plastic bottles and other um, plastic items, potentially like lunch boxes and things like that. Um, and we've heard in the media that it's you know bad for us and it has a lot of uh, health consequences associated with its um, usage or exposure. But what I wanted to do was actually explore one very fascinating finding um, that I really want to bring to your attention and that is how BPA can actually lower tr like transgenerationally which is like if the mother has had exposure to BPA the negative effects will also translate down to the next generation and then the next generation below that and what we're focusing on is actually how it can directly decrease oxytocin gene expression. Now that, to me, was really profound because it's like, right, so if the mother has, uh, you know, quite a high amount of BPA exposure, then potentially maybe the offspring is going to have a lessened ability to feel connected to other humans. Because remember, oxytocin really plays a fundamental role in combating autism um, improving social skills, making one feel connected with their um, environment and people in their environment. It reduces aggression, it helps with fertility, and also uh, it can s have a huge effect on uh, somebody's HRV, which is um, heart rate variability. Now, the other you know detrimental effect of BPA exposure is that it's toxic to the liver and also has been shown to accumulate um, in the testes and also impair ovarian function in women. So it directly affects uh, fertility in both genders. So what's the solution? Well, we want to be obviously minimizing exposure to BPA and or support the body's detoxification potential and to do that we can use supplements such as calcium uh, calcium deglucurate which I'll um, write that down here calcium deglucurate which you'll see a link to in the video description of the one that I've personally used that can help with a backlog of uh, xenoestrogens such as BPA. And also we want to be um, supporting our lymphatic system and also uh, we want to be making sure that we're sweating. So uh, that's exercise and sauna usage and things like that. So if you guys have found this video helpful, please be sure to hit that subscribe button below. Please share this video around, spread the word. I'm trying to get novel and interesting health information out there. So please help me do that. Um, and if you have any questions about anything I've presented, feel free to leave a comment below.